and welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. The Atlanta Braves taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. John Shami, Chris Singleton with you, singing a guy who could change this game with one swing of the bat. Reese Hoskins, he of course leads their team at home runs. Yeah, Boog, he's been such a force at the plate, and it seems like every time he connects, the ball is traveling out of the ballpark. So when you have such a threat like that, other guys in the lineup should get good pitches to hit because they're trying to get those outs instead of having to face him in a big situation. Just about ready to roll, and on the mound in this one, Kyle Gibson. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. All right, ready to get underway. Ozzy Albee's up to the plate. That's inside, and we're underway. First pitch, 7.05. Next offering misses. Two balls, no strikes to count. Here comes a pitch. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Hoskins makes the grab, and there's one down. Here's the Atlanta Braves lineup. A guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, Austin Riley. Well, he had a huge season offensively last year and truly earned that Silver Slugger Award in the National League. He's one of the best in his position, and he showed it on the offensive side. So, turn the page of this season. Man, he wants to continue that and get off to a great start this season. And first offering is fouled off. Next pitch is outside. Strike two. I'll tell you this, that's going to go on that pitcher's highlight reel. No score, just getting started, top of the first. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. In time for the second out. Good job to clean it up after the drop third strike. That in third, the center fielder, number 13, Ronald Acuna. Jr. Two outs, base is empty. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr., And that's in there for strike one. Ronald Acuna Jr., a guy who burst on the scene in 2018. He was only 20 years old, and he is one of the great talents in baseball right now. That one misses in the dirt. The pitch. That one miss. Well, I love the fact that he has a lot of fun playing the game, and that rookie year, an OPS of 917, just paving the way for what we think will be a Hall of Fame finish to his career. And that yeah. is that. Braves go down quickly here. So now the Phillies offense will see what they can do. No screw. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. And on the mound now, Charlie Morton. He's had his ups and downs in his career as his ERA is just over four. But this is a guy that's not afraid. He's going to take the ball. He's going to go out there and give it his best. Bottom of the first. Here's a big power threat. Reese Hoskins. He is very much a typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Ball 
second time. Hey, he doubled up on the off speed there. We talk about the power fastball, but he's working a little differently here. And a pitch. And now it's even up. And a pitch. And that one missing low. The pitch. And down on strikes. And that's the first out. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs exactly. in that location. Right Hitters, here. especially with two strikes, have to be ready to Harper. pull the trigger. Here's Harper now. First offering misses the mark. Ball one, no strike. And a 1 0. And downstairs. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2 0 count. He's got to execute here, or this could get ugly. And a pitch. That one drilled left field. That ball's carrying. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Bryce Harper goes deep. His 22nd homer of the year. The Phillies score first. It's 1-0. Elevated fastballs, especially away, are like putting the ball on a tee. Hitters do a lot of cage work. They're comfortable hitting off the tees. And he was comfortable right there hitting that ball opposite field for a home run. Here's Chris Bryant now. That is third. The third baseman. That one's in there on one. Part of the order coming oh, yeah. through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. And it's one and one. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. Next pitch is outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. One down, base is empty. And that's ball four. Ball four. That One gone, four. runner at first. No left field. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. First pitch, not close. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Brian, at first, one gone. Up the middle, and it's through for a hit. Acuna to third. The tag out. Hey, as a former center fielder, I'm feeling pretty good that right now. Good. That's an excellent that's job by this guy to come up throwing and deliver a strike to third base. Now, for the offense, that's a tough one to swallow because you never want to lose a runner in scoring position by making it out at third base. So, man aboard. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Brandon Jordan. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Kicks and deals. And ball one. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. And 
the right he deals. And there's a ball. in for a strike. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. And down on strikes he goes. Good job of damage control right there. Bryce Harper brings the power for Philly. It's now 1-0. Here's Austin Riley. There you see his May and June numbers so far. Off for Atlanta, the third baseman, Austin Riley. Gibson back to work. Yeah. And that's through there for a strike. On one. That one fouled off. Right into the plate. Stays alive. And a foul ball. Wind in the pitch. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Pulls it in, and there's one away. That is fifth. The right fielder, number 14, Adam Duvall. Adam Duvall at the plate. His righty lefty splits there. Wings and fouls one off. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. Joe McDonald doing the home plate duties here. Well, Joe's an interesting one. I'm always trying to figure out what exactly his zone is. It feels like it kind of moves around from game to game, sometimes inning to inning. Here's the 0 2. Wouldn't chase that time. Yeah, I think that's fair. I don't think he's ever way off with his balls and strikes, but yeah, I don't think it's easy to define what his zone is, like you said. Next pitch inside, and the count is 2 and 2. of the pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. So they're trying to stay in on the hands. Not let them get extended. Because that's where the potential for damage exists. And he walked him. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very good ready. Dansby Swanson stands in. In there and it's own one. Hey. 
next offering is in for a strike. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. And he'll two. Now one miss. One and two. Righty delivers. And that one is lifted in the air. He can't get there. It's a base hit. Harper quickly throws it in as they hold him up at third. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. In there for strike one. pitch swing and a miss and it's nothing in two he's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam Phillies fans want a strikeout but I think ultimately you want to tie him up get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield over to first and he's safe Next one misses, ball two. See how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Strike three, got him swinging. Huge strikeout there. Well, this is where the team aspect really comes into play on the offensive side of the game, right? I mean, missed opportunity to tie it up with the runner at third, one out, couldn't put the ball in play. So now it's time to pick him up. And that's where good teams, they go to. They operate on this level of next man up. That mentality is what causes them to win series, get into the postseason. That helps keep the energy and morale high in the dugout. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Hard hit, left side. On to Segura, and that is that. Two left for Atlanta, and it remains one up. City to city, trying to reach the people and sell my CDs. This is my grind, it's what I'm committed to. If it don't sound good, maybe it ain't for you. You want this. And now it is JT Real Muto. Where'd he go? Real Billy. Muto having more Look success it. against left handed pitching this season, as Real might be expected. Muto. The right-hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. Now the 1. That one missing inside. The pitch. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. And the pitch. On the ground. It's through for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. He's been swinging it really well. They, that pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Francisco Morales stands in for the Phillies. Roll to short, could be two. Over to Albies. How about that double play? Very smooth on the feed, the second right there. You've got to love that glove toss move. You know, sometimes people think these guys are being a little flashy, but it actually can make more sense to do that than try to make a full transfer. And you got to remember, these guys work on that play all the time, so it's in their back pocket whenever they need it. Here's Trevor Story now. First pitch doesn't find the zone.
Right hander kicks deals. And that one fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Nope, inside, ball two. Curveball kind of backed up on him there. I think it just slid out of the hand a little bit too soon. Two and one now. Next Ball offering three. misses down and away. And there's ball four. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way. And at first, Gene Segura at the plate here. Good contact guy, good defender. Morton to throw over, and he's back in standing. That one's in there, 0 and 1. There it was, a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or a run and hit. Here's a 1-1. One, one. And a curve misses outside. And that's a pitch early in this game. He needs called for a strike. Struggling with command issues. He's got to get a little help from the umpire. Two outs. Good eye in that spot. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free now pass. Up and it's baseball. Reese Hoskins up Three. to the dish. Hoskins. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Count one and oh. Story on second. Segura at first. Two out of the inning. Next one is off the play. And that's ball two. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. The 2-0 is in for a strike. offering his foul back. On a foul ball, he stays alive. First and second, two down. Well, you put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. Next offering is down low. And it's three and two. Matty Diaz swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And that is that. Phillies leave a couple. But they still lead it one down. And welcome back. Top half of the third inning. Now it's the DH. The Orlando Arcia. The designated hitter. 
Orlando Archie. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. That one fouled off. And the right hander deals. And now a flare into left. Puts it away for the out. Now that the second base. Back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Here is Ozzy Albies up to him. He's over one. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, the key to his success is getting ahead early in the count. He cannot afford to go deep into counts. Doesn't have a ton of swing and miss stuff, so he's going to have to work efficiently. The 1-1. One, one. Nope, that's a ball. We got two balls, one strike. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Now batting, the first baseman, John... Nagowski. Now the number two hitter, John Nagowski. First offering misses the mark. And a pitch. That's a ball. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. The wide to kick the pitch. Good eye right there. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Bell just came apart right there. Four pitch walk and guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Here's Acuna now. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed. Quite a threat. I mean you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson anyone? First pitch doesn't find the zone. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well look out because the sky's the limit on that potential next offering is in for a strike swing and a ground ball up the middle that's a base hit throw stops the lead runner at second two on and two out. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great team. job there, stepping Austin. up to the challenge. Just kept it simple, Riley. played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Austin Riley digs in now, seventh in the National League in RBIs. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The 1 0. -oh. And that's downstairs and outside. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Right side. And foul ball. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Two on, two outs. Fouls one away, and now three and two. 
Nugowski over at second. Acuna on at first with two down. And they're all loaded up. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. And now the right fielder, Adam Duvall. Foul ball there. Bases loaded, two down. Next offering is in for a strike. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders down an 0-2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. And the next pitch is way outside. One and two now. And the one two misses to even the count. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Out front and foul to the left side. Got it! That's the third out. And the Braves will strand three. They're down one up. Back here in Philadelphia, and now here is Harper. Leading up for the Philly, the right fielder. Right. The pitch. Harper. And that one wrapped foul. All in one now. Straighten him up a little bit. Here's a 1 1. Not the best swing that time from the first round pick. Here comes a pitch. That one ripped. And it's caught for the out. And now batting. The third baseman. Got a red. Chris Bryant. Bryant stands in for the Phillies. He reached out a walk his first time. That one misses in the dirt. Swing and a miss. Strike one. And a pitch. And now two and one after that missed inside. Kicks and deals. Swings and misses. Two balls, two strikes. Well, pretty clear to me, he was trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. On the ground of first, Nagowski collects. Ryan out of the play. The left here, number four, Nick Castellano. Here's Nicholas Castellanos, one for one with a single so far. Singy, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. You tie a guy up like that, you're feeling like you are in command. Next pitch in the dirt. 
One and two to count. Good eye right there. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, too, too. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. And here it comes. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Duvall racing over to make the catch. Billy's go down quietly in the inning. They lead it 1-0. Welcome back. Now at the plate, Dansby Swanson. Swanson, former first-round pick by the Arizona Diamondbacks. Vanderbilt player in college, college World Series player, all that good stuff, but really coming into his own. First offering, misses the mark. Righty to the plate. And that's a strike. I got a ball, one strike. A wind of the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. A wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. In time to get him. One away in the strikeout. Up next for Atlanta, the catcher, Travis Darno. So digging in, Travis Darno. Little chopper rolls foul. Righty delivers. In the corner at the knees for a strike. Pitch. Gonna count one count and two. One and two. Back to the mound. The throw to first. Oh. Out number two. The left fielder, number 20. Marcel Ozuna. Two outs, base is empty. Marcel Ozuna. Next up for the Braves. Hey. And that's in there for strike one. Generally, oh, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job hey. of it. Next offering is in for a strike. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. And the Braves go down quietly. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Back here in Philadelphia, bottom four. And now the center fielder, Here's Brandon the Jordan. Billy. He is the quite an fielder. athlete. I mean, Brandon. you look around the other sports, Jordan. basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. First pitch doesn't find the zone. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Next pitch oh, is outside, down. and it's 2-0. Right-hander kicks deals. Edge of the zone for a strike, and it's Help two and two one. one. The pitch. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Now, this is a rough start to the inning. It's Here easy to feel like you're on an island on the mound, but he knows his defense is there to back him up. 
Real Gusto. Real Muto in the box for the second time. One ball, no strikes. And the righty deals. There's a strike. Oh, and you can throw that big curve on the inside part of the plate. Very difficult pitch for the hitter to get on plane with. You can have a lot of success if you can pitch in that location. Morton to throw over. Back in there standing. Kicks and fires. And now two and one. In the dirt, but kept close. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Next offering finds the zone, and the count is full. Blue count, three two. Morton over to first. Jordan back in standing. Three two now. And that's ball four. You get a walk. And you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk. Good. Now that Francisco Morales stands in for the Phillies. Been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. In there for strike one. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. At the belt and fires. And it's fouled away. Bounce to the right side, and that one finds its way through. Now a long throw home, but it's off line. He will score. It's 2 nothing. Well done. Drives in the run. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he had to get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Here's Trevor Story. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. On the ground the first, and that one finds its way through. Here comes Real Muto around third. He'll score. It's three zip. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Just a simple ground ball the other way, but had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in the play, and just hope it finds a hole. So up next, Gene Segura. And Boog, I'd say he's due. The batter, number two, second baseman. In there, and it's all in one. Good for And he deals. Yeah. Strike two. Well, in this situation with a runner on first, less than two outs, some say, hey, get the ground ball double play with two strikes. Some people say get the strikeout. I think you just execute your pitch, make the best pitch you possibly can, and let the result be whatever it's going to be. The 0-2. This one popped up. Duvall coming in on it. He's got it. One away. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. So the Philly batting order turns over. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. 
He's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. First pitch, just misses. Still only one out here in the inning. Next pitch is outside. Struggled a little bit in this one. A couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. The next pitch misses, and now 3-0. and well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if he'll walk you. Two on, one out, and he walked him. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Here comes the manager out of the Braves dugout, and he will make the move to the pen. That's all for Charlie Morton. It's a three-run game, and we'll be back to tell you about the new arm in a minute. Oscar Noah on the pitch here, and his job is to collect quick outs and keep his team within striking distance. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and we get a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. One out, base is low. Bryce Harper to the plate. One for two with a solo home run back in the first inning. the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's you know perhaps is going to be in the rotation you know maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable ground ball right side he's hit one run is in the throw in not in time he's safe at the plate and the lead is up to five Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. Pretty tough for the infielder to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile. Two on with one out. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. Now batting. Third baseman. Ray. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Oh, yeah. You want now one and one. That's where you want. It's a good miss. On the ground, right side. That throw is wide. He has to lunge off the bag to get it. No outs on the play. Base is now loaded. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Nick Castellanos. First offering and it just misses. The next offering misses. Two balls, no strikes. Loaded up, dangerous hitter at the plate. That one spoiled, and we'll count now two and one. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Two away. 
just a great slider right there. And I think the key for pitchers and what hitters don't want to see is if a pitcher misses with that Brandon. pitch, that he misses Jordan. off the edge of the strike zone rather than in the middle of the strike zone. And right there, excellent execution, and it finished up in a perfect spot. Now, here is Brandon Jordan. That's pitched downstairs, and that's ball one. Two outs. Bounced out to short. Swanson handles. They get the force. Ends the inning after they racked up a bunch of runs. We played four. It's the Phillies five and the Braves nothing. Don't let drama phase me. See on my grind heavy for my babies. Back here at the ballpark, here's Orlando Arcia. Leading off for Atlanta, the designated hitter. Orlando Arcia. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Ball. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no strike. And here it comes. That misses the zone. Now 2-0. Oh. The pitch. Rip towards third. Sends it to first. One away here in the fifth. The batter number one. Second baseman. Ozzy Albies. And the batter now, Ozzy Albies. First pitch, and he just misses. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one is off the plate. Two and one. And the pitch. To the right side. Steps on first for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the now air. Batting. Let's the defense the work behind baseman. him with another ground ball. John Good execution. Nagowski. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the first baseman, John Nagowski. He's 0 for 1. And that's in there for strike one. Now, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. On the ground to short. Story handles the chance to first. And that is that. Braves are set down one, two, three. It's five, nothing. Back at Citizens Bank Park. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. For the Phillies, the catcher, JT Real Muto. You know him, back to work. First pitch swinging. The Braves' bullpen has some activity. Sean Newcomb getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. Right handed reliever. Strike two. Wow. Good okay. luck catching up to that one. The pitch. Got it. And there's one down. Well, that pitch wasn't even close to being a strike, and that just goes to show you how defensive no hitters can be when they're up against an 0-2 count. You're just hoping for a mistake somewhere near the zone that you can get the bat to, but right there, he was clearly anxious. He was swinging when the ball left the hand. And here is Francisco Morales in there for strike one.
Pitch misses. Ball one. And the right-hander deals. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's back there. Gone! He made him pay for that one, and they add to their lead. It's 6-0. hands to be able to hit that velocity fastball on the inside part of the plate. In my experience, when you're looking out over the plate, allowing the ball to travel, it's pure reaction to hit a pitch in that location. Now That's that a tremendous swing. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. Story. First ball offering, one. misses the mark. comes a pitch out front rip foul righty to the plate swing and a miss as he was out front that time the pitch right through there got him down on strikes, and he knew it. Well, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but it certainly now got away with the location baseman. there. You know, sometimes Jeez. as a hitter, when you're down Good in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Stepping in, Gene Segura. First now offering, and it just misses. Ball one, no strikes to Segura. That's a ball. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the inning is over. The Phillies add another on this solo homer. It's now a 6-0 ball game. New inning getting started. Now it's the power-speed combo. Ronald Acuna Jr. The center fielder, number 13. Ronald Acuna. And the right-hander back to work. And a foul ball. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Next offering misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Next one misses, and it's two and two. The wind of the pitch. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, 
the I think baseman. that if they gave Austin the pitcher a false Ryan. scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Riley up to him for the third time as he lays off inside ball one. Acuna on at first. Nobody out. The next pitch misses and now 2-0. And the righty deals. Foul ball. Next pitch misses, and that's ball three. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count, be ready to turn on a fastball. Slice to right, and base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Showed some really nice the patience in that at bat. 14. Worked himself into a good Adam. count. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ball game. Hey. Duvall in the box again, takes a strike. The 01 started to swing, held up. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Zach Eflin getting loose out there. Rodon getting loose as well. No outs, runners at first and second. Next offering is in for a strike. Wing and a ball popped up. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. Y'all, it can be so tough as a hitter to pull yourself out of an extended slump, one that lasts for several games, even a week or more. No, right now, he's really in one, so I'm sure his mind is all over the place, racing, having a hard time sleeping, trying to figure out what can get him back on track. Back to feeling more comfortable and settled in in the box. That's hard hit in the line. Can't get their base hit. Acuna around third. One run scores. Here comes another in there safely. Throw that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his back. Had to put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. Here comes the skipper out of the dugout, and he's ready to make the move. That'll be it for Kyle Gibson. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Zach comes on now. now He'll try to three. strand the runner at second. Number 56. Zach Eflin. One down. Travis Darno getting ready to hit. First ball offering ball misses ball badly for ball one. Runner leads away at second. So two balls and no strikes. 
Runner at second here, one gone. Next offering way off the plate. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He hasn't. We'll see how this at bat turns out. And a pitch. And yeah, there's ball four. ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. The left field, number 20. So first Marcelo. and second with one man oh, gone. Zuna. Marcelo Zuna next up for the Braves. In the air, out towards right center. Harper glides back. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. That's out number two. The bat, number nine. Designated hit. Orlando Arcia. Orlando. Next up for the Braves. In there and it's 0-1. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down around the knees to be effective. And now the count is even. Swanson, the lead runner at second. Tarnot at first, two out of the inning. Next pitch is outside. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Two and one now, two aboard. And a swing and a miss. And a swing and a miss down on strikes inning over and it could have been worse top of the order two up in the home half of the six it's the Philly six and the Braves two bottom of the sixth inning and digging in for Philadelphia Reese Hoskins here to go well, this Philly. kind of lead he can the swing freely in. try to hit the ball Three. out of the park do what he loves to Hoskins. do and a pitch and there's a strike. Good heater at 98. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. Spin rate's outstanding on that high fastball. Really tough to hit. Next pitch is outside. Now one and two. So now one and two to Reese. And another ball. Swing and a miss, and he got him. One away, bottom of the sixth. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding so all right the holes here. in his Number swing three. and his approach, just Run. frustrating for him up there. You strike Harper. out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick because the world will get around the league and hurt. Here's Bryce Harper. He had a big swing for these guys way back in the first inning. Yeah, but he didn't waste any time in this one. The solo shot really got his team going, man. He's looking for more right here. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Counts 1-0. Kicks and deals. Misses nope. off the plate. Okay. And the count is 2-0. and oh. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. That one back there. And it one hops the wall. It's a double. Third hit of the night for him. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. This was a really nice swing. Didn't quite get enough behind it to get it out of here, but once it got over his head in left field, it was extra bases all the way. Chris Bryant now at the plate for the fourth time tonight. Now batting third baseman, 
Red. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Kicks and fires. And that's in for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Only two now. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That one on its way. And gone. Chris Bryant pops one out of here. And they boost their lead. It's 8 2. got a real hard fastball you can't over swing all you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot if you do he supplies the power and you'll get to jog around the bases like you did right there they turn things over to the southpaw sean newcliffe he's being eased into the game here with the bases empty so one out nobody on Nick Castellanos stands in for the Phillies. No left fielder. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Castellanos. The next offering misses. Two and oh. And Nukem fires. And it's even up. Wow, that's 89 on the gun, and it's a changeup. It's like good hitting if you're looking for it, but because of the speed differential between the fastball and that pitch, really hard for a hitter to get on time with it. And now the lefty in the air, out towards left center. Ozuna makes the play, and there's two away. The center fielder, number 25, Brandon. Jordan. Brandon Jordan stands in for the Phillies. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. First off offering the misses the mark. And I would say that most great defensive outfielders, it's kind of natural. There is some work that you can do to it uh, to improve your game. But ultimately, you either have it or you don't. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. And now the count, one and two after the swing and the miss. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold lover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. Next offering down low and in the dirt. Next one misses, and now it's three and two. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct on the bases, despite the fact that he didn't play a, a ton of baseball as a kid. And that one hammered way back there. That'll touch down off the base of the fence. And that's a two-out double. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and scored it up about as well as you could possibly ask. 
JT Real Muto steps in. Now batting, catcher, JT Real Muto. First pitch, just misses. The lefty to 1 0. Late swing fouled off. And he deals. Upstairs. Two outs and one in scoring position. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. He makes the grab, and that's the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now 8-2. Back here in Philadelphia, top of inning number seven. So Maybe now to the plate Atlanta. for Atlanta. Ozzie Albies. Ozzie Albies. Eflin back to work. All one there. I can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters even if you give up a solo shot. Next offering is in for a strike. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. Oh. Next offering misses, and a count two and one. Swing and a bouncer. Real Muto to first. And Albies is retired. Up next for Atlanta, the first baseman, John Nagowski. And now the first baseman, John Nagowski. One's in there, 0 and 1. Righty delivers. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Jordan drifts towards it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. The center fielder, number 13, Ronald Acuna Jr. Two outs, base is empty. Now in for the Braves, Ronald Acuna Jr. You talk about the power and the speed together. Oh, he knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. Yeah, the first offering is not close. And a 1-0. And yeah, there's a the ball. Two balls, no strike. 2-0. And that's outside. Fought off foul. And now a full count. Full count. Three and two. The pitch. The three two oh, wow. is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional now walk, battle. but he no, wasn't exactly it. trying to attack Austin. the zone either. Austin wow. Riley, the next to hit. And he hits a ground ball right side, and that's just foul. 
Acuna leads off first with two down to the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. Smash to the left side. And foul ball. The 2 And one now ball. one and two. It's a one two. That's a ball. Slowly on the ground to short. Story collects it. On the run, sends it over to first. That ends the frame. Braves strand one, and it's still 8 2. And welcome back. Bottom of the seventh. Here's a speed threat. Francisco Morales. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Here's your one. Bounce to the left side. Throws to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Now batting, shortstop, Trevor Story. Trevor Story stands in for the Phillies. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. in there for strike one. Boog, this guy's definitely oh, a plus down. runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Next offering is foul back. That Correct. one ran inside, almost got him. And yeah, the pitch stays alive. The pitch. And now two and two. Wind in the pitch. Thank you. Three down on strikes. And now two gone. Frustrating end to the at-bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Gene Segura stands in for the Phillies. In there for strike one. Two down, nobody on. And one ball, ball one. Like well, two outs and a chance to put up a zero on the scoreboard here, and that's not something that's come easy for this staff in this one. And a foul ball, he stays alive. A one-two. That one missed. 
Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Stepping in the long ball threat, Reese Hoskins. Hoskins. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. The one one Wouldn't chase that time. Swing and a miss, and it's one and two. He's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. Next offering upstairs. The pitch. Misses. Counts full three and two. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Next offering is foul back. And the pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That is the inning. One left for Philadelphia. They lead it eight two. Welcome back. We go to the eighth. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Adam the Duvall. The right fielder, number 14. Adam Duvall. The right hander back to work. Which is outside. Ball one. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss, and he waves at that one. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Next offering is in for a strike. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. And now it's one and two. That smash towards center. Jordan makes the catch. And there's one away. The batter, number seven, shortstop, Dansby Swanson. And next for Atlanta, Dansby Swanson. Swung on, belted, on its way. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Dansby Swanson blasts one out. His 11th of the year, it's 8-3. He's going to have nightmares about that pitch. Perfect execution. It's not supposed to produce that result. He got hurt by a really good one there, but even a better swing at the plate. Travis Dardo next up for the Braves. Now batting the catcher. Travis On the ground, right Darnell. side. Segura throw to first. Fine play in the hole for the out. 
Now batting left fielder Marcel Ozuna. Now in for the Braves, Marcel Ozuna. And there's a foul ball. The next pitch misses, and the count is one and one. And strike two. One ball, two strikes. The one two. Misses down and away. The wind of the pitch. Bounced up the middle. And it finds its way through for a hit. And that extends the inning. Really nice job now staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Orlando Arcia next up for the Braves. In there and it's 0-1. Here comes a pitch. Rolled softly but that goes foul. Miss struck him out. That's out number three. Braves get one on the big fly. It's now eight three. See me, I got something new. And all my haters, y'all can think you softly because you like the gas tank over Mr. Softies in the wind. It ain't feeling you. So Luke Jackson please. gets the call. Now, big deficit here, but he's still got a job to number do. Number 77, Luke Jackson. Back here in Philadelphia, and now Bryce Harper. And it may Will be a long it? shot, but a triple right here will give him the cycle. Right. Harper. The pitch. That yeah. ball wanted the right fielder. <laughs> Left hand batter waits. Swing and a tap for the rolls foul. And the right hander deals. Inside, Pulls that one to foul. That's a really good pass of the ball right there. Just a little bit too quick. He's got to find a way to let it travel a hair more. Next pitch is outside. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. So, man aboard, Chris Bryant stands in for the Phillies. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Some guys are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Now the 0-1. Now one and one. one. Movement in the bullpen. A.J. Minter appears to be getting loose. Uh, 
the pitch. Not close with that one, and it's two and one. Nobody out, runner at first. Looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. And here it comes. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. One away. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on Number the inside four. part of the plate. Couldn't Dish. get around on it and catch Tough it out front. Yeah, no. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Castellanos stands in now and watches strike one. Harper over at first with one away. Runner on the boot. Pitch is low. Tag. Ow. Darno, great throw. Well, I really didn't expect him to try to steal second base because he had a very standard lead at best. If you're going to try to get there safely, you've got to get more on that lead. You've got to get a better jump. That was the difference between being safe and out. Next offering is in for a strike. A one-two. And that's downstairs and outside. Two-two. On the ground to third. Tosses across the first. And Castellanos is out. That's the inning. You're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Corey Knievel. And he'll try to keep this big lead right where it is. And here is Ozzy Olivares. This guy has turned into a beast. And a pitch. And that's in for a strike. And a pitch. Top of the zone for a called strike. Open. Kicks and deals. Just misses without one. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. One and two here. And that just misses. Sometimes you got to fight to get back into an at-bat. Take some tough pitches, even out the count. offering his foul back. Stays alive. Swings and misses. 
And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get out. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. So digging in, John Nagowski. And a foul ball. And it's one and one. Righty to the plate. And now just two outs away. Right handed reliever. Build up. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. Got him looking. Back to back strikeouts. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. So two down now, and here is Ronald Acuna Jr., one for two. That one's in there, 0 oh 1. Kicks and fires. And that one just missed off the outside edge. And now one strike away. One and two now on Acuna. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. In time, ball game. And the strikeout and Well, they're in the opener at home. First game of the three-game series. And there's just such a good feeling that you're in your own ballpark. You're sleeping in your own bed. You're eating your clubhouse manager's food. Everything's right in your world. And they played like it today. 8-3 the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show.